Okay, this looks different. This is 3D frames per second is very unknown. It looks wrong, but I can't make the point that I want to make if it's not 30 frames per second. So bear with me. She's leaving. What about Wyatt? I know I'm boring, I know. Anyway, <clears throat> so I wanted to film something completely different. I wanted to go out on the weekend and film a vlog of how I was bringing my son to camp and I dropped him off there and a little bit of the camp and then what else we were doing but that really did not work. As soon as we arrived at camp my son told me clearly put the camera away. I don't want any video. So I had to respect his wishes and the rest of the weekend forget it because we were just at home so we didn't really film anything important. So I didn't do any of the vlog that I wanted to do. And frankly, today I actually had plans of filming a video for you for a new video light that I bought from Amazon. But for the second time in two weeks, Canada Post lost my parcel. I don't know what the heck's going on with these guys. I have now uh, tagged Canada Post at Amazon to not deliver any stuff with me anymore because they did the worst. I don't know what they're doing. We've been spoiled. We as consumers have been spoiled by these one day delivery things. We were, I was perfectly fine with two or three days delivery until they introduced this spring one day prime delivery. Now I get things in one day and now when I don't get the things in one day I'm just mad. Being upset for not getting it the day that's promised but the day after. First world problems really but like I said I'm waving my innocent flag because um, you taught me that one day deliver is possible, so deliver. Anyway, <clears throat> today I'm going to talk about something completely different. Actually, that's not true. Today I'm going to talk about something that I've been talking about for the last few weeks. And it is the, <clears throat> come here, Osmo Pocket. You may notice that this video is different. It's 30 frames per second instead of the 24 that I'm usually doing. I want to try something out because from watching all these YouTube videos in the last little while, I noticed that 30 frames per second when filming with the Osmo Pocket, this video is just smoother. It's just buttery smooth. Bake a buttery flavored crust. It's easy for you to say. It's just buttery smooth like it should be with a mechanical gimbal on the camera. And I obviously thought it was because my videos were not smooth because I wasn't using the appropriate SD filters on it. But apparently not because even when I wouldn't need an SD filter and my shutter speed is in the double the range of the frame rate, meaning if I film 24 frames per second, I need to have a shutter speed of 50 uh, or 1 50th of a second. So if I go with the 30, I have to be 60s, and uh, if, I, if I film with 60 frames per second, I gotta be at 120. I digress. I thought the movement, the smooth movement, was in direct relation with the appropriate shutter speed, and it's false. The smooth movement is pretty much impossible when you're filming at 24 frames per second. Here, I said it. Prove me wrong. So I tried it out last week and it's true. If I film with 24 frames per second, it's not as smooth. If I film with 30 frames per second, the same movement I did before is super smooth. No filter, no nothing. This 30 frames per second is only one aspect of buttery smooth filming. The other aspect is when you're walking with this thing in your hand, the movements are very softened, much better than holding a phone or 
a camera without any gimbals attached to it or even um, even a GoPro or something but you still will feel your steps so when you're watching a video of somebody walking along a boardwalk or a street with this camera the movements are softened the movements are soft it's nice it's much more pleasing to the eye there's no jitteriness but it's bobbing okay it, it's bobbing up and down now what this camera doesn't do well is the fourth axis the up and down axis but that's a that's an issue with all gimbals not just this one every gimbal has this problem when you're walking with it you you have this up and down movement you're gonna get seasick with me doing this constantly I've watched a video of a guy a long time ago when when the Osmo Pocket was first launched that he made an attachment and so he mounted the Osmo Pocket he 3D printed it and so he mounted the Osmo Pocket to a fourth axis stabilizer that he had already bought for the Osmo not the Osmo Pocket the Osmo and he kind of made an adjustment for it and it worked but the thing was huge now the other day when I was going to this famous Chinese shopping website I came across something that looks like that and I was intrigued so I purchased it and it came surprisingly fast this is for all accounts a fourth axis stabilizer that works with the Osmo Pocket and I gave it a try and here's the result As you can see, it is a lot better with this thing installed. And I have to tell you the truth, it's really nice because you can you can use this like that. You're holding it. There's a clip on the back that you can clip it to your backpack. But it looks like idiotic. You're walking down the street. And the whole stealthiness of the Osmo Pocket has been lost. So use it with caution, unless you literally don't care what people think while you're filming. Don't be using this in public because people are gonna look at you like you're from another planet. What I'm trying to say is, when you are walking by yourself and you're in the forest, in the wilderness in Canada like I am, by all means, this is great. It doesn't take up a lot of space. In your bag it's handy it clips on it's light you use it you walk around with it uh, and you get that buttery smooth filming that you want because it dampens all these fourth axis movements and it's gonna look much better to the eye but in the city walking around with this thing while people looking at me no that's why I got this thing I got the Osmo Pocket because I wanted to be stealthy. I wanted to be able to film where I'm going without 50,000 people looking at me and wondering what she's filming, what she's doing, and it worked well so far. And when you're in, a, in, a, in an area where there's a bunch of people and you're walking along, the little bit of up and down movement is not really that of an issue because there's so much else to see. But when you're in a kind of a, a nature setting and you have all this up and down movement, it's kind of a it's kind of annoying that's why 
this is going to live in my backpack and I'm going to take this on hikes, but I'm not going to bring this to the city. Now, I have to say something else. After I bought this from China, I understood that there is also a manufacturer in, in Australia. And if I'm not mistaken, he invented this. So I'm not going to put a link on the Chinese website. I'm going to put a link on this Australian manufacturer's website. His uh, has another feature. You can adjust this movement a little bit. I don't know how, how important that's going to be because me, I just throw that in here and it works just fine. It still looks totally goofy. I'm like, I, I can already hear my husband and I say, we're not going with you anywhere if you're not putting this thing away. YouTubers that are single or young and they're, they're surrounded by like-minded YouTubers, they film each other doing all kinds of goofy things. Oh, it would be so cool if I could do that. No, no, I'm in this other category. I'm in these, in this, in this, in this part where you have to live with a, with a norm and you have to fit into the housewife doesn't do goofy YouTube thing. I'm already, forget it. Anyway, let me whine. As long as I'm whining, I'm alive. So the quick video I just wanted to show you, these devices, although it's a knockoff of China, from China, it works. If you want to get one, maybe get it from the original inventor would be great. Um, Scotty makes stuff or something like that. I'll put the link below. Um, but if you're on the fence, I can confirm they are goofy as heck, but they work. They are making your video even better, even smoother, even more wonderful than you than you could have imagined with this tiny little camera. All right, that's that's it for today. I hope this was helpful to somebody, and I thank you very very much for watching. And I hope I will see you again in my next video. Bye.